Hey guys, Krim here coming at you with another video if that wasn't fucking obvious. If you can't tell by the thumbnail, this video is going to be about a life storytelling YouTuber, a fake life storytelling YouTuber, and his name is Luna. Now, personally, I don't have any beef with Luna, and, and I actually think that his videos are funny and entertaining, but I can't say that I don't think that they're real. Sure, some might be real, but not 100% of them. With some titles like Caught Showering With My Girlfriend, Fist Me For $100, Having Sex In School Almost Caught, Naughty Teacher, you get it. I'm not saying that these things can't happen. I'm just saying that it's very unlikely that they would happen. You might be asking yourself, hey Karim, you have some life stories in your channel that sound a little fake. And what I have to say to those people is I've surrounded myself with negativity for years, with people I shouldn't be around, etc. And shit that I've gotten myself into. And all my stories are real and I have others that I've chosen not to tell, or at least not tell yet, because they're even more crazy than the ones I have now, and they just seem more fake. But I can assure you, they're all 100% real. That all being said, let's get right into the scumbag of the internet YouTube channel, Luna. Money, 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 all I know. Spend is better, can I take it when I'm gone? Alright, what's going on guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. And I'm bringing you a cut com, call me that cut communist. Okay, so I know all my jokes aren't funny, but these jokes are even worse. You might be like, oh cram, he's just awkward, this is one of his older videos, and, and I have to say no. This might be one of his older videos, but he still acts like this, to this very day. Just check out some of his newer videos and compare them to this one and some other older ones, then come back to me. Um... No, I'm just playing some free-for-all right now. Oh, and I just collateraled them. That was fucking hilarious. Really, Luna? It was fucking hilarious? I don't really think it was. What the fuck is so funny about killing two people? Nothing. Nothing is funny about that, Luna. I despise you. But anyway, playing some free-for-all right now. And, um, I don't make these videos often. And when I do, I usually have a topic to talk about. I'm not just like... I kind of ramble once in a while, but... I usually have a topic to talk about. Wait, what? Did he just expose himself? I kind of ramble? Luna, do you ramble? Is that just to get the 10 minutes on your videos? Well, I guess this video isn't over 10 minutes, so I guess that comment was pointless. Never mind. Fuck you, Luna. And, um, in this one I'm talking about naughty teachers, and I have a little backstory behind a naughty teacher who I once, um, came in contact with. Now, she didn't fuck me, but, um, she was very naughty, and she made weird sexual advances towards me. Luna, she did this shit to you? You could have got her fired, and you could have probably taken her to court. Because I'm assuming that... During this story, you're still in school, since it's a teacher, and since you're underage and you're in school, you could have did something about it. Towards about 20 other people in my classroom. Around fucking 20 other people? God damn it. In my school, that's like every fucking student in a class. That teacher's 20 as fuck. And other things like that. So this teacher, she's probably been a teacher at my old school for- You are such a fuck- So this teacher has probably been, um- Anyone else notice how it said Luna Rage and the player was still moving around whenever he threw his controller? Luna, is this pre-made gameplay and you're pretending to rage? I cannot even say what I'm trying to say without dealing with fucking c 4 noobs. Who the fuck calls anyone a noob except for like six-year-olds and face Jeff? So anyway, this teacher has probably been a teacher at my old school for years on end. I mean, she's been there for such a long time. I um, I know that for a fact because like I started going to my old school when I was little, and I basically got you know went through that school for years and years and years. When I was little, and so I went through that school for years and years and years. My boy Luna, that's typically how school works. You start with one school and you go through it for years and years and years. You didn't really need to explain it. Also, you could have just said multiple years if you insist on explaining it. And um. You know, when I started to mature finally, hit that puberty level, um, I kind of could, you know, understand when a girl is flirting, and I can understand, you know, I guess advances towards someone else and stuff like that. Sorry to break it to you, but you can't really tell if a girl is, like, flirting on you or anything. You could, they take a hint if you guys have been talking for a while and she, like, looks at you in a, a certain way, but you just can't tell. If and, um, this teacher just, you know, all the red flags were there with this teacher, like, she literally, my friend... Alright, I remember this moment in particular very vividly because I was talking with my friend at lunchtime. We would eat lunch in the classroom because my school budget, I guess, couldn't afford a cafeteria at the school. What? Your school budget couldn't afford a cafeteria? I'm not saying that that's not possible. I'm just saying it's very unlikely. Because I had a friend who helped building schools and shit, and we were talking about this one time. And I remember him saying that the cafeteria is one of the very first things that they put onto the budget. And schools don't really have budgets. Schools are built with tax dollars that come from people, and basically the government can just raise the tax 
taxes if a state wants to build a school. And um, we'd have to eat lunch in the classroom. So, you know, we're eating lunch, just chilling, and uh, we start making dick jokes. I don't know why we're making dick jokes. I don't know why, Luna. Are you gay? Is that why you're making dick jokes? Oh no, I said the word gay. I just triggered a shit ton of people who are watching this video. I still, to this day, do not understand why me and my friend were making a dick joke. If you're gay, Luna, just face it. Just admit it. Like, goddamn, I'm gonna feel like a complete douchebag if he ever, like, comes out. Or, you know... I mean, whatever, I guess dick jokes are funny. Or is it just because you like talking about dick? Because you low-key love dick, Luna. But we, we just kept making jokes about penises, okay? Now, when, in the mid-joke, she heard what we were saying, and she asked us to come out of the room, okay? So we go out of the room, you know, no big deal, and uh, we weren't that worried, because like I said, this teacher was super easygoing. And um, before I say what happened, actually, she was probably in her late 30s. Um, good-looking, you know, she was a good-looking girl, but she wasn't like... I don't know. She was a teacher, guys, okay? You know, she wasn't like a cougar, but she was, um, she she was alright looking for a teacher, I guess. Seems like Luna had a crush on his teacher. She was probably an older woman, and he just said that she was in her 30s just to make him sound like he wasn't in the gilfs. We all know my saying. Well, I know my saying. Milfs, not gilfs. So she basically starts ranting at us, saying, you know, you can't use that language in class no matter how funny it is, and, um, then she goes, no matter how big your penis is, either. No matter how big your penis is, either. Did she really say that, Luna? I'm pretty sure she would be fired by now, since, you know, you have a video on your channel called School Found My Channel, and that's about, like, how teachers were talking about your channel and shit. And if they really found your channel, I'm pretty sure they would see this video too, and that teacher would be out. I'm just taking a guess that she probably isn't fired. Yet. I fucking shit you not, she said that. And I don't know who she was talking to, but, like, because there was two of us. And, um, my other friends, you know, the, the classroom was pretty small, but, like, there was a good 20 people in the classroom. Basically what happened was, is we went back inside and we immediately told everyone in the entire classroom about what happened and we were just completely lost for words. We were like, I cannot believe what just happened. And um, that sparked basically hundreds of stories around the room getting told. Okay, so now apparently like every single fucking person in the classroom had some sort of sexual situation where she hit on them or something. Okay, I believe you, Luna. Um, after we told our story about what just happened, my one friend came out and said something that happened to him once, which was also really weird. Yeah, this story would be real weird in real life if it really happened. And a bunch of people just started, you know, telling stories about how she's like a fucking creepy teacher who hit, hits on kids. Again, the story's fake. She's not really a creepy teacher, I bet. So, um, you know, we thought nothing of it, but then a few months later, we came into class and she wasn't there. And later that day, we actually have this class where we talk to this, um, it's like a... It's like a homework period where we like have an aide in the room and shit. And we asked that teacher, you know, what happened to her? And the teacher basically didn't, you know, she, she didn't want to give too much detail, but... Oh, shit. I think she got fired. Fuck. All that shit I said before about her not getting fired. I think she got the ban hammer, dude. She basically told us she was arrested for having sex with a minor. Well, okay then. Luna, can you provide a police report with this saying that it's true? No? Well, fuck you. Money, 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 all I know. In conclusion, guys, Luna is honestly one of the biggest scumbags on the internet. No, I'm joking. Some of his stories may be fake, but he still seems like a really nice guy, and I hope that we could be chill one day. I've spoken to him a while ago over Twitter on a different account of mine, and he seems like a cool kid until he blocked me. But yeah, if Luna sees this, which I assume he won't, you seem chill as fuck, dude, and tell Cody he looks like the Crimson Chim. Well, anyway, guys, it's been Karam. Peace. I won't stop, now that I'm ahead of you I won't stop like I didn't see your red and blues Yeah, I did everything they never said to do And Mr. I don't give a fuck is who you send your letters to Yeah, cause that's me, that's me They know that I was driven like I'm in a taxi I stand behind my bars like my name was Max B And I never gave a F like I never passed E And yeah, you know it's feeling like a payday Yeah, it's going down, I got them saying mayday Yeah, we taking shots, motherfucker, that's an AK The blunt I might hit it first, yeah, that's where the rate, J. Yeah. yeah, in this life, well, I'm loving it. And this in the man, yeah, I'm feeling like the government. They ask me why stop, so I'm asking why not. Till I'm making stacks like I hop. Yeah.